Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Ask Simplest. My name is Ksenia Chaut and I am a Salesforce consultant here at Simplest. I have been working with Salesforce for the past four years or so, both as an administrator and as a consultant. On today's episode, we're answering the question, how do you turn on Lightning Experience? As you may know, Lightning Experience, which is Salesforce's new user interface and a feature set, became generally available to all orgs and all um, editions in Winter 16 release. You may have noticed that towards the top of the setup menu, there's a new option now that says Lightning Experience New. When we click on that, it takes us to the page that allows us to go through a few setup steps and then turn on Lightning Experience. So when we click on that link, the page that we go to, at the very top we see a banner. And the banner links to Salesforce's Trailhead, which is a website with um, training tutorials and specifically links to the tutorials that have to do with Lightning. Underneath the banner, we'll see options to turn on three different features. One of them is Account Insights. It is basically a business news feed that allows your sales reps to stay on top of news that have to do with accounts that they work with, industries that those accounts operate in, and so forth. And this news feed appears on the homepage in Lightning as well as on the record pages of accounts. The second feature is social accounts, contacts, and leads. And this feature allows us to link accounts, contacts, and leads uh, records to their social media profiles. And while this feature is available in Salesforce Classic, here on this page we just get an option to turn it on for Lightning or not. And as of the Winter 16 release, this feature is available only for Twitter. And the third feature is Notes. And the new Notes feature allows us to create notes um, in a rich text editor and also to attach notes to various records, so more than one record, across different objects. So, now that we've decided whether to turn these features on or to leave them off, we move on, move on to the next step. It is possible to turn on Lightning Experience for different sets of users or subsets of users within your org based on profiles and permission sets um, in Enterprise Edition or higher. It has to be noted that once you turn Lightning Experience on, it is automatically enabled for all standard profiles. So you can decide if you want to have Lightning Experience turned on for certain custom profiles. And for Professional Edition and uh, lower, since custom profiles are not available, we have the option to either turn on Lightning for everyone in the org or to leave it off. Now that we've decided who will have access to Lightning, um, the next step is basically to turn it on. You can turn it on by clicking a button, and once you do that, you will need to refresh your browser. And after that, when you click on your name in the drop-down menu, you will have a new option that says Switch to Lightning Experience. So then when you click on that, you will be taken to Lightning Experience and you will be able to access your Salesforce via Lightning Experience. And then if you want to go back to Salesforce Classic, you click on your profile icon and there's an option underneath that will say Switch to Classic. And this is how you turn on Lightning Experience. Thank you so much for watching. This was hashtag Ask Simplest. And if you have any other questions, you can ask them on Twitter at SimplestNow, hashtag Ask Simplest. Thank you.